Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple multi-page website by hand coding HTML. Uh, this is what the final product is going to look like. This is the home page. We have a banner here which is simple a simple image. We have a navigation bar with four items. We have a heading, a paragraph, a horizontal line, and also another paragraph here which is a copyright information. Um, if you pay attention here I have um, four tabs home services about and contact these are four separate pages and if you click on any of these uh, the link is going to take you to, to that special or a specific page. So um, let's go to services here we have a uh, table of data and uh, we have some pricing and services if we go to about we have a heading we have some picture pictures from the staff and their names and specialty and under contact we have another heading and also we have some information about the company as well we always start from the home page and home page is going to be named index.html and the process is the fact to create that one, save it, and then we're going to duplicate that one and then change the content for the other pages. So um, this is a very simple template that I've provided for you guys. All I've done is um, I put the title here, Mantique Hair Salon. That's what the project is. And in order to save this, you need to create a folder. So the folder structure is very, very important and it must be this way. First, you create a folder and then inside the folder you create your images folder and uh, I have saved all these pictures here and I'm going to save my web pages right here in this project folder so after inserting all this information in notepad or notepad plus plus or if you're using Mac text wrangler you're gonna go to file save as and I'm just going to go find this um, location where I've created. There you go. This is the folder, and I'm going to save it right here. Be careful for naming. We're going to go index.html. So I'm going to click save and this is saved now let's go bring it up at this point there's nothing here we're going to go back and take a look at the final prod, uh, product again so the first thing that we have here is an image so what I need to do is to insert an image right up there um, I'm going to go to the body and the first thing I'm going to do is to insert IMG space SRC equals quotations I'm going to go to images folder forward slash I'm going to go back and take a look uh, to see what I've named this image uh, this is called banner so I'm going to go back and type banner dot jpg uh, let's save and preview so there you go I have my first item inserted um, we do have a break here there's nothing to the side of this image and then we have the navigation bar so right after this I'm going to put a BR for break so whatever I type from this point forward is going to go underneath the image uh, we do have four tabs and they're named home services about and contact okay I think this yeah, there you go they're all capital full uh, so that's that's our navigation bar but the thing is these must be linked and we know in order to create a link we need a tag called a a for anchor so I'm gonna go create a tag before and after home and then inside the opening tag I'm gonna put href equals quotations home page needs to go to index so I'm going to type index.html I'm going to repeat this process and make sure each one of these are labeled properly if you're comfortable with copy and paste you can just duplicate 
the opening and closing tags and just put them there but do not forget to rename these guys so for services page I'm gonna have to change this one to go to services.html for about I'm gonna put about.html and last but not least contact.html be very careful um, I'm using capital letters here because this is something that is going to be shown on the web page but when I'm coding I'm using lowercase only so now if you go back here and okay let's go run our page let's refresh there you go so I have these but if you click these uh, on any of these guys it's not gonna go anywhere because we have not created those pages yet okay let's see what comes next um, there um, is a, our heading so we, we're gonna have a heading here and then a paragraph so I'm just gonna go create an h1 heading which is the largest size heading and we're gonna type home and then I do have a paragraph here so let me just put in paragraph so there you go P opening and closing and then here I'm gonna put some random text I'm just gonna borrow the random text from lorem ipsum and then put it here there you go so copy and paste it so all I've done is created the H1 and closed it P and closed it and I have inserted some text we're gonna save this one and go to our page refresh there you have it let's compare it to the final product we do need to have a line here and copyright information alright so in order to put a line there we need a horizontal rule that's HR it's a single tag it doesn't have a closing tag so all you need to type in is just HR in uh, brackets let me just bring it up so you can see it there you go and then at the end I need another paragraph and here I need to put my copyright information so let's save and preview refresh the page and there you go so that looks like the final product already it's exactly the same uh, I'm gonna close this one um, or maybe keep it because I'm going to need the information here as well yeah let's just keep that for the moment so um, this is done my index page is done all I need to do is to create the other pages of my uh, single page which I have here which is index.html in order to do that you need to copy and paste this three times so you can go over it right click copy and then right click here paste and you need to do that three times so we end up with index and index copies so now uh, we need to change the name of these guys from the top I'm just gonna go start doing services all lowercase about and contact if you don't know how to rename a page you can just right click on it and rename it so there you have it but all of these have exactly the same information as in index page so I need to open these guys one at a time and edit them in here inside notepad plus plus so let's close this one um, I'm gonna drag contact page here to open it you can also go to file open all, you, all I need to do is to change the heading to say uh, contact so let's do that contact and also the paragraph I have here I'm going to um, remove that information and instead I'm gonna have to put some other information for instance I'm gonna put phone and I'm gonna just put some random numbers here for next line 
we're gonna go type email. We're gonna type info at mantique.com and the next line I'm gonna put website mantique.com. All right. Um, these need to be broken to different lines. I'm going to show you what that means. Um, if I just leave it as is, uh, this is what you're going to see. So this is our page now. If I click on contact, I'm going to be able to see the contact page. But they're all in one line because I need to put breaks in between them. So let's go to the end of each one of these guys and type BR. So BR in brackets. I'm just going to do a duplicate here. So copy and paste it here as well. So it's going to break it once and twice. Let's save and preview. There you go. Now we can do some highlighting. I want the word phone, email, the words phone, email, and website to be bold. So all I need to do is to put the tag B before and after each one. Again, you can type it or you can simply copy and paste those here. So I have the opening and closing tags for all three of them. Let's save and refresh. There you go. These guys are all bold now. All right, so I'm fine with home and contact page. Now I'm going to go and edit some other pages. For instance, we can start with about page. So here in Notepad++, I'm going to close my contact page and I'm going to drag in about page here. Again, it looks exactly like the index page because we have copied that one. So all I need to do is to change the heading first and we're going to type about. And then uh, I'm going to delete this paragraph. What we have there is image of the staff. Uh, let's take a look at our final product. So we have a heading, picture of the uh, staff, and then we have the name, and we have some information about the specialties of this person, which is a uh, unordered list. So let's go start with the image first. Okay, this is my page. I'm going to stay on this and it's my about page. So right after that, I'm going to put IMG space SRC equals quotations. We're going to go to images folder forward slash. I'm going to go back, double check the name of my image. So it's hairdresser1. I just copied and pasted it here, dot JPG. So that's going to be my first image. Let's go refresh. There you go. Right after the image, I have to put a break. So whatever I want to say, it's going to go right after that. I'm going to put an H2 and say James. We have to close that tag. So forward slash H2. So there you have it. After that, we're going to put an unordered list. So the code for it is UL. And I'm going to close it immediately. Between these two tags, we're going to put the list items. The code for it is LI. And also, I'm going to close it, closing LI. And I need three of those guys. So I'm going to copy and paste that here and here. Uh, I don't remember what we said there. Let's go take a look. Hairstyling, haircut, and curls. All right. So hairstyling, haircut, and curls. There you go. Let's go refresh our page. Okay, so 
now I need to put more information here so you can see it at this point it's in the bottom of this uh, page here so we need to put the other image as well so I have to put the other image another name and specialties so let's take a look at our final product I have uh, the, na uh, the picture of the girl and some information in the bottom so it's the same story um, you can simply copy and paste the whole thing if you want yeah you can copy and paste image heading and UL and just paste it here and then you have to change it instead of hairdresser 1 I'm gonna change it to hairdresser 2 instead of James I'm gonna put Emily and I'm gonna keep the rest of it as is so let's see what our page will look like now uh, this is my page let's refresh it and there you go we have all these information shown so the last thing to do is to finish the services page again it looks like index page so I have to go to here close I'm gonna go back bring services page immediately we're gonna change the h1 to say services and then I'm gonna get rid of the paragraph we don't need anything there we do need a table so let's put a table and close it inside the table it's a two row two column table so we're gonna put TR and close our TR that's for table row in between I'm gonna do TD and close TD that's my table data that demonstrate the first column I'm going to copy and paste it here so I have two of them then I can copy the, and paste the whole segment so I have two rows of information here in between the first TDs I can put services and here I can put price for the second row, second uh, first TD, I can put, for instance, services hair cut, and here I can put hundred and twenty dollars, perhaps. Okay, let's go take a look. So this is what our page looks like. Our table is not um, showing yet, simply because it doesn't have a size and border so all I can do is to go back here in the opening tag of table I can just put border equals quotations 1 and I can give it some width and height as well so width equal quotations let's make it 400 and height is equals quotations and we're gonna make it 100 so those are pixels let's go take a look and there you have it if you want services and price to show as a heading all you need to do is to change the TDs to TH short for table heading so there you have it TH 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 so I have TH and TH here let's save and preview and there you go now we can go to home page services about and contact if you take a look at our for folder structure you see the images folder and everything else here i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching